and then I've been in urology for 40 years. We were, you and I were talking early on in the, uh, before the show started. And I can tell you, there's been a lot of times that you talked about silent BPH patients come in and they have no complaints. They probably would have filled out the bladder, you know, score, the IPSS uh, score mm -hmm. as pretty normal. And then you scan their bladder and their post void residuals a liter. Yeah. I've and had it many times at my clinic. And at and that point, you know, it's, it's too late. You're, yeah. you know, their bladders are pretty well shot. They're going to be either intermittent catheter or permanent, you know, long term catheter drainage and hope that the bladder gets some contractility back to it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's being able to monitor this stuff, I think is going to be huge. And I'm a big proponent. I have the Apple watch just to keep track of, you know, sleep, sleep habits, because mm -hmm. there's more and more data coming out about how you can do simple things to intervene that are going to have a long-term health effect for you, such as you know, exercise and sleep. Yeah. Habits. And, and, you know, like I, uh, one of our health insurances, you know, uh, I, I signed up for it and I had an, a, 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 a thing where you could get a free scale. And, you know, so now yeah. like even like with your, your CHF patients, right? So they get, you, you need to monitor their weight, you need to do their blood pressures and all of this is electronically submitted to their cardiologist or their primary care. So home monitoring is where this, this whole area is shifting. And, and it's just crazy to me that you can do yeah. a home monitoring uh, urine flow measurement.